Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm watching Little Neck Prepper. What I've been doing lately is I've been going back through, it's been a while since I played with shotguns, and revamping my Mossberg here, my 590A1. I've had this gun for quite some time, and I just haven't shot it in about 10 years. So I decided to show it a little bit of love and a little bit of updating. So one thing I did is I pulled the Tackstar hard shell side saddle off of it and went with the S-Tac. That was a recommendation from, who was that? Reeves, I think it's James Reeves at TFB TV. Anyways, he recommended these. These are actually quite stuff, uh, quite stiff. The elastic's really good versus the spanker, which is a lot less stiff. The elastic's not quite as strong. These, by the way, are fake shots for practicing because it has been so long bear with me they always wait to take off at B a until I decide to make a video so these things are great to play with to hone your skills um, I used to only shoot I didn't play with rifles I didn't play with shot, uh, handguns I only played with shotguns outside of military service um, I was really good at it for a while and just put it down started playing with the, the other and got I was really I'm, I'm quite sad to know how much of my skill set I've lost running this now I was running today um, I was running the Rio and I was running Hornady the Rio tended to hang up a little bit more even in the the pump um, gave me a little bit more problems wanting to not be quite as smooth feeding as the Hornady did, but hey, you still have to be able to run it, so I just, of course, powered through it. Um, so some of the things I've done besides removing the hard shell, side shell saddle, side saddle, is I put a one round extension. So this is now seven plus one versus six plus one. So I've got eight total shots and I put the Mossberg stock on it versus having the pistol grip ATI stock. That was fully adjustable, but that's what I've done to it. And then I don't have it on because it shot its way off. I put it on today just to see what it would do, and I didn't, because I was shooting today, I didn't have time to put the thread lock on it. So it wouldn't have worked anyways with thread lock. You gotta give it at least 24 hours before it dries, and this shot its way off but actually worked really well. This is just a generic cheapo I bought, I don't know how many years ago. And I put the uh, just piece of rope on it, um, paracord. Also on the back side here, put a piece of paracord on it. So when it hangs down, it's I don't have to have it looped through here it just works better. I actually got that off of um, that idea from, uh, what's his name? Oh, dad burn it. AK Operating Union, but for life of me, I can't think of his name. Hang on. <sighs> Gotta love it. So I actually had videos of me doing some of this stuff and putting some of this stuff on and it uh, something happened with the videos. This one here, when I was putting the, uh, the stock on and removed the side saddle, it was supposed to be a 13 minute video and then all of a sudden it went from 13 to an hour and a half and it went slow motion. I don't know what I hit or what I did, but that video messed up. And then I had another video where I was working with my shockwave but I put the buttstock plus two of these uh, adapter plates on the ass end. And it, that seemed to be the right length for me. So it also gave me a little bit of love loading. Going up in pushing up in and just kind of hung on me. Um, 
It's funny at the gun range today, I was bleeding, and one of the RSOs said something to me about needing a band aid. I said, Nah, I just lick it off. Well, there's three of them in there, they all just busted out laughing. Um, because I mean, so many people, I guess, just crap out. I don't know, anyways. This is a surefire tack light. Um, one thing I do want to recommend you do is always keep an eye on your batteries. These batteries have been in here for many, many years, and I, I check it every now and then, but it's also, you need to take them out and make sure they're not starting to leak. Um, and the batteries had actually just started leaking. I caught it just in the perfect time. Hang on. That's Delta. Gave me old number one. So I ran with the light on and off and on and off on my shock wave. I actually have a stream light. I like the Surefire a lot better than I do the stream light. Um, it's, I like this type of pad versus the type they have. There's nothing wrong with that one, but I like this one better. But yeah, um, that's what I have set up here. Other than that, I mean, I put the um, Mossberg Ghost Ring Sights on it and I used JB Weld and I mean I put probably 300 rounds through it with the JB Weld it's never give me any issues so it's it's been around for a while and this is just a simple Magpul sling uh, I do like Magpul gear they make great stuff except for their Glock magazines they suck ass but everything else I've ever bought from them Work, has worked great so that's all I've done to this just replace the stock put the tack light on it and I like the one underneath it's just easier to deal with than the one on the side um, I don't like having something hanging off the side that I can hang on um, and put the uh, ghost rings on it I mean other than that you could put I could have put a I still can put a Picatinny rail on it put a red dot but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of like the way I've got it. Now, when I clean and lubricate this, which I probably am going to do here in just a little bit, I may take a video of that and show you. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit, some might say, controversial, and use for this because it's manually cycled. I may use the, uh, oh, what's it called? Synthetic wheel bearing grease versus the lightweight oil. Um, I've used it many, many, many times. It doesn't get really cold enough here to where it's going to affect the cycling of any autos, but I kind of went away with it, started using the uh, butter from the Glock store. I really like it. It's a little bit thicker than the regular grease, regular oil, and it's just good stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I use, I probably am going to use a wheel bearing grease on this because it lasts a whole lot longer, sticks a whole lot longer. So I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions about anything I've done to it, feel free to leave me a comment or you can always email me at xcooperx at protonmail.com. Here real soon, you're going to be able to download the American Press.